Anyway, the uh, the last item on our list that we wrote down for this is uh, Dear I Am Gooey. So uh, you added that. I think I, I didn't know about this until you uh, you wrote it down here. Yeah, so I Am Gooey, uh, we've been using it with debug overlay in the current runtime. It was I started using it because it's, uh, um, A, I think it's great, and B, it gives us an easy way to have a consistent interface to different things. Previously, we had lots of debug overlay things, which kind of all wanted to be on top of the screen, and uh, there was no way of manipulating things and moving different windows and things like that around, etc. So we adopted I, I am GUI for debug overlay. Um, Dear I am GUI gives uh, a, a nice interface cross-platform that supports mice and um, the game pads and things like that as well. So. Um, we're carrying that on into GMRT, and um, Norman had done a library, I am GUI GML. Um, and I've been looking into what we can do there. Unfortunately, the way that, C, that I am GUI is built is great for C++, but for a dynamic language, it's, uh, it, it's um, not that great. So exposing the interface is difficult to do. That's not something we're going to do in the current runtime, but on GMRT, we should be able to support essentially what the IM GUI GML does uh, directly within SKGMRT. I've not implemented it yet, but I am planning to. And it would use the same IM GUI as we already have within GameMaker itself. So you're not duplicating its kind of any efforts there. And that, that would just be exposed as functions. And it'll be pretty much the same functions as uh, unless there's a good reason for me to break it. But I did, I, I, I was at Bit Summit this year, which is great conference by the way we thoroughly recommend it it's very small and uh, kind of kyoto is a um, great city to have it in there's lots of game developers and it's um, very friendly uh but i bumped into omar who is the creator of dear i am gooey <laughs> and we had a very amusing conversation around the, uh, about kind of, kind of what we both did and um we started the discussion on uh, how I am GUI could support dynamic languages. So we're going to be carrying that on and we'll see if there's more that we can do there. 